Inauguration Day also ushering in tight security around Pennsylvania's capital. Fox 43's Jamie Bittner are joining us from downtown Harrisburg, where the National Guard is standing by in case of any violence. The sun is setting here in Harrisburg, and it's also setting on those security measures that have been in place all day long. Just take a look around me. Most people are going home now, and that's a good thing because most things down here remain peaceful for the day, and they hope it'll stay that way through the night. It's not really uh, what you want to see coming to work. Mounted horses, barricades, police, and the National Guard. But one noticeable absence, unrest at the Pennsylvania Capitol. The only appearance of signs coming from supporters of the new president. Weekdays have just been kind of quiet, though, in, in general. So I don't think we're noticing anything too significant because of capital activity. Peter Leonard is the owner of Little Amps, where many of his coffee customers Wednesday wore uniforms, protective gear and guns. He says his decision to stay open with high security steps outside his door was simple. Not that hard. We just put faith like, in uh, the people serving our community, you know, the folks who are here to protect us. And we just make decisions almost every day. And it's mostly based on the comfortability of our staff. All that capital security sitting less than a block from here, right where customers sit at Cork and Fork. This restaurant deciding to stay open despite it all. I don't think that you ever get really used to unrest or a disruption of your regular flow. Cork and Fork decided to close on Sunday to see what happened, but with peace and calm throughout the week, the doors have now been opened. We're always looking out for, you know, what does the safety of our team look like and what does their peace of mind look like? The governor said he would not allow what happened at the nation's capital January 6th to happen here in Pennsylvania. And with the capital shut down and nearly 450 Pennsylvania National Guard members activated, the streets stayed silent. Obviously, we're happy that it's, it's peaceful, um, but mostly it's, it's kind of a deterrent to downtown Harrisburg, and that's what we don't need. On top of expensive parking, on top of coronavirus keeping people home, this is another reason to not come down here. And once again, those National Guard members are walking up and down these streets all day long. Another thousand were sent to Washington, D.C. to help with protection there. Live in Harrisburg, Jamie Bittner, Fox 43 News.